are people with disabilities sub people, this subgroup of people that don't really deserve to participate in society. I hope you will say no, I would personally say no, and I hope you will do it too, but still, on a personal level, we do disagree with this idea, uh, disabled people are sub people. But on the societal level, the situation is a little bit but different. We don't talk about people with disabilities enough. More about this, about people with disabilities and their position in society in today's video. But obviously, before we begin, I have to tell you that this is your experience and here I share my various experiences about different topics. I do two videos per week, Mondays and Thursdays. If you will enjoy this video, please drop a like, you can also subscribe to the channel. Let's go! So what is a disability? This is an official definition in my own words. Disability is not being able to do something, to do some, to participate in life in some specific way because of different reasons, being it psychological, physiological and whatnot. There are also levels of disability. So basically how bad your disability influences your life. There are some minor disabilities, like for example, you need to wear glasses and they're like normal glasses, not really like thick glasses, just normal glasses and really like heavy disabilities or whatever the description is. For example, blindness. So if we are, if we will remain in terms of seeing, blindness is normally considered a very heavy disability that influences your life a lot. And the target or the focus of today's video are people with like heavy disabilities because normally we don't really see them participating in society. What, when was the last time you saw a blind person? Or maybe you saw a schizophrenic person? A lot of occasions you don't even know that the person next to you or maybe a person at the corner of the street is a person with some kind of disability, even though that disability can be like a really heavy stuff disability. And prior to going further, like big amount of examples, as I've already mentioned, blindness or being not able to see colors or being not able to see like specific contrast, problems with motoric skills, tics or maybe spastics, so when you cannot really control your body movements or at least you don't have full control of your motoric skills, also different psychological disorders like schizophrenia, like DIOD, I hope that was a correct, correct abbreviation, if no, this is one. And also we have people with chronic illnesses, for example, people who have problems with this part of their body, I forgot what is the name, but if you have problems with this part and with um, hormones in this part of your body, then it is like really bad or really difficult to lead your life in a normal way. Like people don't see it, but you have huge problems maybe with nutrition, you need to have your nutrition in a specific way, or maybe you have problems with proteins that cannot be consumed in some specific way, and so on. Anyway, there is an idea in society that if you have a really like heavy disability, then you cannot really participate in society in a full way. You have the disability, you will not achieve anything. And based on my understanding of the current state of world, obviously it depends on the country heavily, but overall we are not there anymore. Yes, there were times that if you were disabled, you would probably be killed or you would die pretty early because of the state of medicine at that moment, or maybe because of different cultural things that are happening right now in society at that moment in our history. But nowadays, in a hell lot of countries, it is not like that anymore. The state of medicine is really, really great, at least in the comparison to like 100 years ago. And and now we can deal with a hell lot of disabilities, we can support people with hell lot of disabilities on like different scale and they can lead their life in a normal way how a person without disabilities would do it, how an able-bodied person would do it. But the societal acceptance is not there, it is the knowledge about what people need in order to like strive, although they have a disability, is not there, it is provided, it is of somewhere, but it's not really used. Not a hell lot of people know how to deal with people with people with disabilities. And it is a great question how many people shall know. In my opinion, at the very least, people who have this decision-making ability, this decision-making power in the world, being it government or being it like participation in different companies or whatnot, 
they shall know how to deal with people with disability. Obviously, there are some borders. So some work, it cannot be done with a person with some specific disability. So basically, you cannot be a taxi driver if you are a blind person. You can drive a car if you are a blind person, but in specific conditions, in specific situations. There is a person that, uh, and I saw his videos on TikTok, I think, that is the, his account name, and he is blind, he is legally blind. There are like a lot of definitions of blindness, and he still skateboards, he still drives cars. It is always in a controlled environment, or at least driving cars, not skateboarding. But he does it, he can, so he is able to do it. It is not safe in like city environment, but overall it is possible. But coming back to the borders, yes, there are obviously some borders for people with disabilities that, at least in my personal opinion, are not the borders that we shall try to destroy because it is not really possible to destroy them, at least at the moment. But there are some borders in our different societies that exist, although they don't have to exist. They exist because we cannot do better at the moment, although the opportunities are there. For example, a person could work at, at a programming company writing software and that person is deaf, that person cannot hear anything. And it would be extremely difficult for that person to work in the company if the only way of communication is something like video conference or like audio conference if it is like that that person cannot keep up with information that person cannot understand what tasks of that person are although that person is perfectly capable of writing code of programming or maybe communication communicating about project stuff but if the communication is only on the audio level how a deaf person can participate in it and I'm not even talking about various kinds of uh, psychological disabilities or different kinds of disabilities that have this kind of stigma in our current society. If we find out that you have a schizophrenia, then we think that you are a crazy person that shall be kept in some specific chamber somewhere outside of this world. Or for example, stigma of pedophilia. I'm not even sure whether pedophilia is a disability. I'm not even, I'm not completely sure where is the border, but pedophilia is a psychological disorder. And if you, if people find out that you are, have these pedophilic ideas, doesn't matter what kind of pedophilia you have, because there are at least three kinds of it. It will be very difficult for people to interact with you. Although you have a disorder, you have a psychological problem and you deal with that problem, but people will still not trust you, will not believe you because there is a higher probability than normal that you can do something, but you will not. You know about the problem, you deal with the problem. You're actually on the good side of the problem because you understood that you have a problem and you actually deal with it. You don't try to hide it and actually go behind people's backs and do some bad stuff. Don't, doesn't matter whether we are talking about pedophilia, uh, psychological disorders like personality disorders and whatnot. It doesn't matter if people know about that technically you are a good side because people know what you can do and you cannot do. And people know that you try to deal with it, that you work on yourself. And actually it is kind of crazy. It is bad to talk about the fact that you have a disability and there is no acceptance for, it, for, for that. But on the other hand, the more acceptance this, the different kinds of disabilities will get, the easier it will be for people to seek for help and it will be easier for these people to actually like become with less, dis with less disabled, if I can call it like that, and participate in society as a whole. And maybe even get lost of that uh, disability. There are some kinds of disabilities that can be cured, kinda. So basically this disability to accept the fact that people have disabilities leads to the fact that people with disabilities ca cannot lead their life without fear of being found out by other people. I hope it makes sense. Final question, do you have to care? Do you have to care about the fact that there is a huge problem with people with disabilities, that they don't have enough support, they don't get enough help in order to lead this what we consider a normal way of living? In my personal opinion, no. I know it is kind of surprising like to hear the whole talk that I had up until now and now to hear, no, you shall not care. I personally think you shall care if you will have power for it. In my personal opinion, all of us have different problems in our lives and different things that we find important, that we try to concentrate ourselves 
on. We have different problems and we have different battles to fight, which is why I don't think that everybody shall care about people with disability. Still, there are a couple of exceptions. The first one I already mentioned, if your work it leads to the fact that you interact with people with disabilities or if your work has influence on people with disabilities then think twice prior to like not doing pretty much any effort in order to make the life of, of people with disabilities easier. I once read a sentence uh, on one of the conferences about the topic because I am actually working in the field where I am thinking about accessibility features in the web, in the internet. Anyway, I saw the, the sentence which I personally find like the, the main sentence of this whole idea of what you shall do, especially if your work is connected to people with disabilities. And the sentence is, the accessible design makes life for people, for able people normal, like comfortable, but it makes life for people with disabilities easier or possible, possible. I hope I will find the exact sentence and I will put it somewhere here. But the point is, if your work is, has this accessibility idea in mind, then it will be better for normal people anyway, because a lot of stuff that people with disabilities need in order to like lead some kind of some way of living, people without disabilities also can benefit from. Like in terms of websites, it is these are normally cleaner websites with good design where you know where is what and people with disabilities can use this site because it was built in a specific way. It was the some specific design ideas were used accessible ideas were used during creation of the website. Similarly with architecture, if you are architecting a building, doesn't matter what kind of building, think about people for example who cannot use their legs, who will need to, like to roll down to that place and try to come in somehow. Because similarly people with children cars or however these things are called, will also probably need to use that building and they will have similar problems. Their life will be easier for them if there is an accessible, so real, real accessible entrance to the building or to the location. And the second rule that I personally connect with dealing with this topic of people with disabilities or disabilities overall is don't be an asshole. That is a general idea that I do like a lot and it actually doesn't only connect with this topic but overall don't be an asshole is a very good advice in my personal opinion. And here by that I mean for example first don't assume that you understand how life is for this person with disability because basically each person with disability even though they can have similar or same disabilities, they will still have different lifestyles and different ways how they deal with their disability. So please don't assume that you know how they deal with their life, how they live, how the disability influences their life. Just ask. It's not that difficult, it's not that like really strange. Just ask politely, can you please share information? I'm curious if you are curious or I want to help you. Can I somehow help you? Maybe that person doesn't need your help. And the second mini example in this advice is please don't stay in the way of progress. Don't just stay there and say, no, we shall not do it because it doesn't help me. Then why shall we do it for everybody else? At the end of the day, the more people we support in our society, the more people can participate in society and it will be easier for you to participate in society if everybody participates in society, at least from economic and uh, societal perspective. I hope you understand what I mean. So if it doesn't bother you directly, why should you be against some improvement of uh, state of living of other people? And except for that, if I remember correctly, around 10% of population in Germany has like really heavy disabilities. If I'm not mistaken, and I think I'm not mistaken, the source will be in the description. And the point is, most of these people with heavy disabilities are elderly people. Obviously, there is some percentage of people who were born with heavy disabilities, there are some percentages who got it throughout their life, but most of them are elderly people, I think above 70 or above 60, one of, one of the two things. And these people need 
this like different accessibility stuff that we have in our life in our everyday life in order to have their life to live their life in order to lead some proper way of living and the point is at some moment in your life you will probably be old and you will pr probably need all the stuff that we are currently creating for people with disabilities so why would you stay in the way of the development of a society that helps you in the future that will help you in the future with pretty high probability why would you stay in the way of something that makes life of other people better and will make your life better overall too that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video if it is the case please drop a like you can also subscribe to the channel you can also leave a comment and i see you on monday if everything work out works out have a great week